Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of the latest breaking news and current events. Prices seem to go up on the fly every day to a week. Even gallon bottled water has increased 25 cents for store brand and 40 cents or more for name branded bottled water. If you've tried to buy a car, a house, remodel your house, put gas in your car, shop at the grocery store, eat at a restaurant, or buy much of anything, then you know. Everything seems more expensive. Even looking for Black Friday deals. Consumers have noted. Ticket prices formerly liberally slashed look as if they have increased, so who is the deal really for? Restaurants that limp through COVID shutdowns now say they may need more government help to get through soaring food costs. Grains. Up 93.8% in a year. Beef. Up 41.4% in a year. Shortening and cooking oil? Up 34.8%. It's not anecdotal. It's a fact. The consumer price. Index, the nation's key marker for inflation, saw the largest one-month jump in 13 years. In June, prices were up 5.4% over the past year, also the largest jump in 13 years. Gas. Prices are leading the way, up more than 45% compared to a year ago. But there's an important asterisk there. Gas prices are often relatively volatile, and a year ago, they were, were extremely low. Car prices are being driven up by strong consumer demand for cars, along with a limited supply due to a shortage of computer chips needed to build the cars. Rental car companies, a key seller of used cars, already sold off much of their fleet of cars last year to raise cash during the pandemic and now don't have enough cars to rent. Post-pandemic premiums. Edmunds.com did an analysis for and found some year-old cars are being sold for more than they did new during the height of the pandemic. That's similar. In my mind to the tales of people paying six or even seven figures over asking for houses. Prices keep soaring, inflation rockets to a 13-year high prices keep soaring, inflation. Rockets to a 13-year high people emerging from the pandemic and spending money they saved. Or money they're getting from the government is central to all of this. But Isidore writes that there is a serious question about whether this price bubble will be permanent. Although prolonged inflation can be a cause for concern, there's reason to believe that this recent rise in prices, although pronounced, will be temporary. Inflation is soaring in part because prices are returning to normal levels after the economy fell into a recession. That makes year-over-year -year comparisons seem electric, showing up as big increases. Some economists think higher prices are here to stay. Labor shortages now have led businesses to offer higher wages, for instance. They won't likely start cutting wages in a few months. Some of this is permanent and good for workers making more money. Price hikes you're not supposed to notice. I also read a business report on how grocery chains may have added a few cents here or there onto prices that were already surging for. Other reasons stores are betting most customers won't balk at price increases because they need to buy groceries, after all, and will still consider shopping a bargain compared to eating out at restaurants, writes Nathaniel Mayerson. Prices for food at restaurants are growing faster than prices at grocery stores, according to Labor Department data, giving grocers more flexibility to charge you extra. Argument, this too shall pass. The Federal Reserve acknowledges the inflation but isn't going to do anything about it anytime soon, according to Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell who testified on Capitol Hill. Wednesday, the Fed could pump the brakes on the economy by raising interest rates, although that would have its own set of chain reactions. Inflation, Powell said in remarks to the House. Financial Services Committee has increased notably and will likely remain elevated in coming months before moderating. High prices, meanwhile, will be something for everyone to watch and pay.